Hello, and welcome to a recap of today's open source live code hangout. We've been working in the Western Friend project. It's available on github.com slash Western Friend and in the westernfriend.org repository or project, as mentioned. And this is the official website of Western Friend. I've been working on a um, in, well, like an improvement here to the way we navigate the Wagtail admin interface to manage magazine issues and uh, magazine related content. Let's take a quick look in the UI just to see what it looks like. Wagtail is a content management system heavily inspired by WordPress uh, but built in Django and Python. It's got an excellent user experience, excellent developer experience and we have been <clears throat> updating this project to take advantage of some improvements made in Wagtail 6. We are now uh, running Wagtail 6.1, which uh, has had a roadmap of timeline uh, of switching away from a way of defining the interface, uh, the management interface. They removed a component we had relied on for many years called model admin. That's now a third party uh, package it it's, may or may not be maintained but now that in the wagtail core there's a new way of defining these views and we'll show you the code in just a minute they're called view sets and then and there's a way of filtering the views as well so we had to look at the documentation a little bit today but the end result looks like this you're able to define custom like navigation menu here along the side uh, where you can group sub uh, views that allow you to manage certain types of content. These can be Django models, these can be Wagtail page models, and I think even arbitrary, uh, maybe I'm confusing uh, this thing called a chooser, but to, anyway, yeah, it's essentially content in your database, and you can make it easy for the um, user to kind of have a mental model of how things are organized that aligns with like the way their organization is run. And Western Friend has uh, been a magazine and a print publication for uh, almost 100 years now. It used to be called the uh, Friends Bulletin, but nonetheless, the organization has been running uh, for quite a long time. And so we have archive issues. You can see uh, the demo site locally. Uh, these will, uh, on the production site date back to, I think, 1929, this whole listing here. And all of this interface is generated by Wagtail with a few lines of declarative Python code. I kind of tell it, you know, what we're wanting to list and what fields to show and how to filter, what we want to be able to filter by in some cases. It generates everything else, uh, all these interfaces for adding one and it looks at the model, the structure of your database and the types of fields it'll automatically generate you know, appropriate widgets and Wagtail has really, um, fairly nice uh, widgets generally speaking this is a nice calendar widget there's a couple of visual glitches here as i highlight their usability but they also have really interesting uh, features like discussions inline discussions and moderation flow draft you know, all this stuff um, previews accessibility checks all of this is just baked into the wagtail cms and it's at version six so it's fairly mature and in today's pull request what we did is just went through a previous uh, version of this menu that was built with the Wagtail model admin, which is now part of a third party package that we're trying to remove from our project. It's, it was deprecated as a version six and converted these three listings uh, into the new model view set. And uh, these are core to the what Western Friend has to offer. The magazine is the contemporary uh, version of this archive issue which was when it was friends bolts and they were print publication and the newer issues are digital hybrid print and digital so you can get pdf online on the um, website as well as paper mailed to you if you want yeah, so that's about, about it and we added a couple of custom filters here we'll take a look at um, allow you to narrow down these um, issues that span um, over a decade in the Western Friend magazine and all, you know back to 1929 in the uh, Friends Bulletin archive. So here's our pull request. It's not many lines of code. Uh, we'll take a look at the files that changed here, but it's mainly uh, using what are called view sets 
in the wagtail six and they're just wagtails mechanism for defining a group of related admin views with shared properties in a single unit and these will uh, typically display some kind of uh, content as a table and give you a menu option and labels and icons and things like that and some callbacks and, and a url to navigate it so all of this everything is just generated for you you don't have to wire up any views or anything like that it's it's declarative which is a really nice way of programming and um, so what we've done is we've uh, done some minor improvement to our our models here in the magazine model we have magazine department and i was ha having a little bit of a bug where the um, the slug wasn't being generated correctly and it was because i had overridden some content panels and so i just kind of removed these definitions to clean up and fix a small bug so that's why this changes here but the bulk of the changes we're now defining in uh, what are conventionally defined django views and since these are view sets it kind of maps the the concept maps to the django view equivalent and what we do is we just we define filter set classes which allow us to um, define these interfaces for filtering based on different fields and types field types you know data uh, dates and strings and boolean fields they all have different widgets and we define view sets which are based on the wagtail page listing view set in wagtail uh, it's based on django models but wagtail has a specific type of model they define called a page and the wagtail page is like one of the most powerful parts of the wagtail content management system it's a tree based model uh, coming from django treebeard and you define a page class a model class and it handles all of the view routing and navigation and metadata about publication and updates and ownership everything for you as part of the model we're pretty far into the project though we've been working on this for five years i don't want to go too deep into the wagtail internals but nonetheless that's why this is called a page listing view set and our archive issues as well as our magazine uh, issues they're um and magazine departments they're all based on the wagtail page model so you'll see that again and it, this is all declarative you just tell what you want the label to say and what icon you want to use i think we have um i can't remember the name of the icon set we're using um but anyway you can add different icon sets and uh, whether or not it should appear in the menu and then you define custom columns uh that will give you a little bit of control uh, and uh, sp specific widgets and sorting uh based on the type so these are kind of going to render some html they're basically server-side components you could think of them if you're coming from react but you do everything in declarative python so no javascript is needed you know you and your components are all rendered for you dynamically uh by this uh um, communication um that part, that generates like javascript and everything dynamically like these uh bulk actions you know this is all javascript and react based but for me uh i'm just able to focus on only python declarative python i, I enjoy that so these classes are bundling all of those server side rendered components and live wiring it to the wagtail admin interface including uh, the calls the rest and interactions in some cases and uh, just declared the uh, search field so that when i um, type a, a text into this search box it'll it'll know which of our model fields to search across so really uh, that's about it then you just instantiate it as a variable here which is a, you know kind of going to make it available in our um hooks when I registered that in a moment I just repeated that process three times one for the magazine the archive issue model one for the magazine department model these are roughly the same definitions there's not much significance here and then instantiated in that and then one for the magazine issue uh, same kind of concept search fields and I had to find some filter set class so let's take a quick look at the filter set and what that allows you to do is define custom filters and in the case of the magazine issue uh, these date back over a decade so I thought it would be nice um, not only to be able to search for them by the title but if you're wanting to get the issues from 2013 or 2014 to be able to select those from a date widget which this is the newer date widget something was messed up with the uh, previous uh, field we were looking at I'm not sure but yeah it's got a year select it's uh, very usable user-friendly you can go into the future you can go into the, uh, a little bit into the past about a century 
uh, either side of now, uh, or yeah, include now with now in the center. Um, so you can select a certain date and it's something greater than 2023, perhaps. When did I publish that? If I enter, does that work? Uh, yeah, and you can see it while well, you're populating the search meta tag up here. You can combine multiple filters at once. Oh, I posted these a while ago. <laughs> these are just simulated issues. Uh, but yeah, it's the idea. 2013. So let's just say greater than 2015. Let's try that. Publication date. Date from 2015. January 1st. Yeah, then it only shows these newer issues and you could constrain it as well to just that year. So that's the whole point. Again, I didn't write any of this code for filtering. Did you see that how dynamic that was? And it's making requests to the server and populating this view and doing pagination and this dynamic uh, interface where I can remove the filters. And then we have forms that are generated to add it. All of it's done with just a few lines of Python. Uh, just I can't really say enough about how great of a developer experience it is to work with Wagtail CMS. So yeah, with under 100 lines of code, uh, I was able to define, you know, these listing views and then group them together in what is called a view set group. And it's pretty simple. You just, it's the top level menu entry here. We have the magazine is the view set group. And then these are all view sets. Pretty cool. And you just take those instantiated uh, view sets and uh, put them in the items um, attribute of the magazine view set group in our case. You know, you could do this instantiation in line here. And what this argument does is it gives it a URL. Uh, it's, it's what builds out this admin slash magazine issues address here. So yeah, you could, depending on your own style, I, I sort of uh, originally did it like this because we were importing them into another file and they were already instantiated at that point. But it wouldn't hurt to just do them all in line here. Six and one half dozen are at the and the other, and so we were able to remove uh, a lot of code. Essentially, as part of this, um, it's all of this. Essentially, what's called the Wagtail model admin, which is now a package that's been deprecated and removed from Wagtail core. So that's why this uh, pull request is actually more lines removed than added, and we still maintained uh, most of the functionality. We lost a little bit of functionality. There was a couple of buttons here uh, that would let you add a issue an article for an issue um, but we can add child pages here and one thing i'll need to do is um, probably create an articles listing that allows you to uh, or somehow filter show the articles for a given issue that'll be an enhancement but i think if we go to perhaps view the in the page tree you can see under magazine you can see the issues here and any child articles would appear under there. Yeah, I didn't uh, test that. Uh, uh, that'll be an enhancement though. I want to keep this pull request kind of small. So yeah, and I want to keep the uh, recap a bit short as well. So thanks for stopping by checking out this stream. If you'd like to get involved with this project, we're on github.com uh, under the Western Friend organization and the westernfriend.org project. The pull request today is available, visible here request 1069 and I'm working on a, a larger issue to use these view sets throughout our project deprecating the model admin package. All right, well, thanks very much for your time. Hope you're doing well and have a great day.